Hi everyone, welcome to video tutorial 4B, that blinking inspector. Um, this is really a supplemental video to help with the homework. I've gotten a bunch of questions on it and I thought, well, I, I guess, um, you know, a little helps in order and uh, I just wanted to expand on some of the ideas that um, come along with the homework, which was to make your name um, flashing in lights. Um, one of the basic things that you realize as you try to attempt to make your name flash in lights is that um, you need an on and an off situation and you know how do you how do you get that on and off situation um, we look at what we already have in our old patcher here that you might remember and when you turn the metronome on and it blinks at 1000 out of 1000 that's one time a second so you have a, a blinking possibility here. Um, this is one way to get some blinking going on and the other way is to turn something on and then turn it off. Um, the only way that I think you could use this to put your name in lights, um, let's try it, is to make, oops, foreground color, there we go, make this black and um, let's uh, unlock your patcher, type new, and type, um, I'm just going to say, uh, your name. Whoops, <laughs> I, I typed the letter N. I should have typed the letter M for message, message, and then type your name. There we go. And let's do a little work with our inspector, which we should be used to at this time. We highlight this message. We go over here and we click on the inspector tab. We come down to, uh, I'm going to just zoom in here, though it does make me seasick sometimes to move around this way. Uh, background color. We're going to take the background color of our message and turn the opacity all the way to zero. Zooming out, you now see that your name has a uh, clear background. I'm going to click on it again because I also want to make it nice and big so we can look at it. Let's say 20. There we go. Okay, so there's your name in a message box with a clear background. And all you got to do is stick that here um, over this blinking button. And in the most basic world, you could say that you've accomplished your task. Okay, so that's how it could be done with a button with various colors of the blinking button and various colors of the message. Let's call that version one. For version two, let's imagine that we're actually going to use the message box instead and blink it on and off in front of some other kind of background or something like that. So I'm going to lock my patcher just for a second so I can turn off this blinking button. And um, uh, let me just make sure I'm zoomed out here. Okay. So I'm going to resize the button and, uh, oh, sorry, patcher's locked. Um, I'm going to resize the button just to sort of get it out of the way and figure out how to um, deal with the colors in the message box in, instead. So we're, we're working on attributes that are inside of here and in order to do that um, we need both an on and an off or a turn it one color and then turn it another color. So there's a couple ways we could do that, and one would just be make a new metronome. So we could option click on this and, uh, and give it a different number. And this is a kind of wacky way to go about it, but uh, you know, pick some uh, crazy number, 777, and when that starts, it'll um, uh, blink at a different rate than the first one. 
And that's one way to do it. Um, so let's just say we've connected this one to swatch A, because it's sending out a bang, right? And we connect this one to swatch B, and then we'll upgrade our swatches so that they deal directly with our message box. So um, we connect this one to our message box, connect this one to our message box. and lock our patcher and turn this on. Now we come over here and we see background color and this one's in stripes because there's no foreground color in the message box, there's just a text color. So let's, oops, why aren't we getting, uh, oh, it's connected to two things. Okay, I see. Unlock it and let's disconnect foreground color from your button, there. Now it's just connected to the message box and therefore it can see background color now. So now we have two, oh, this one's connected to the button too. Yeah, unlock your patcher again and disconnect it from that silly button so that we have a, a happy attribute object. There we go. So um, this one's background color, let's set it to blue and this one's background color will set to white. So now we see that we're getting the, the background um, blinking and conceivably, if you turn that to black, in the simplest sense of the word, you have your name flashing in lights. Okay, version two, we're getting there. Version three, um, we're not so happy about this just other random number here and we want it to blink evenly. So maybe instead of putting another metronome box here, what we could do is, let's just delete it. I'm going to unlock my patch. I'm going to delete that metronome. Um, we could do this um, one of two ways. We can make a new object and type delay in it and then we'll type 500 which is 500 milliseconds. That's half of 1,000. We connect the metronome to the delay. We connect the delay to swatch number two. And there we go. Nice and simple. Okay. Version three, there it is. You've got your name blinking, and if you wanted to, unlock your, unlock your patcher and select this message box, you can actually see the background color blinking on and off. If you wanted to blink the text color, you would change uh, the message that it's sending to text color. But we can also just change the text color here in the inspector, and let's just change it to white. So now we have a, a different set of, set of circumstances where, uh, oops, got to lock the patcher to play with the colors. So you have black and you have white and for some unknown reason, uh, there's a gradient on this. Let's unlock our patcher and go back over here and look. Second gradient color is gray. I don't want it to use the gradient though. I don't know why it's using the gradient. I'm going to just change the gradient to white. There we go. Or, or, or black. Black. There we go. Black. No. White. That still does it. I don't know. It's not supposed to use the second gradient color unless you check this box here, and then it does. And now it should not be. But I guess it's just a message box, and we can't hope that it will follow all the rules that you give it. So there it is. Um, with the background color blinking, with 
your name in white and the background color blinking between white and black. That's another way to do it. Uh, I think that's version three. Let's go for version four, right? Another way to do this. Um, if we unlock our patcher and we get rid of this delay box here, um, and let's delete this patch cord. So we have the metronome running, and what we'll do is we want it to select between this one and this one. And one way is to have a delay, but maybe we want it to go one then the other, one then the other, no matter what. One way we could do that is type letter T, and then the metronome is sending its bangs out to a toggle, and you can see the toggle turning on and off there. Okay? So all we need to know is what the output of the toggle is, which we can find out by typing an M and hooking our message box. Notice here that I'm going to hook the toggle to the right hand inlet, which sets the message box message. And so now, zero, one, zero. 1, 0, 1. Great. Now we know what this thing's sending out, and if there was just some way that we could have 0, select this one, and 1, select this one. Luckily, there is, and by um, typing the letter N, we get a new object, and the object is called select. Select with a space, and we type 0, so if it sends out a zero, it'll do that, and a one, and we get the select object popping up there, okay? And the select object sends out a bang if the input matches zero here, and if it matches a one here. So it's gonna send out a bang, but I'm gonna put the buttons there just so you can see them working. So there's one button, and I'm just going to option click on this. I could just hit the letter B, and there's the other one. So the nice thing about this is that no matter how high or low, I'm going to lock the patcher now, no matter how high or low we make the speed, uh, oh, I didn't click on it. So now the speed goes a lot faster. It, it's evenly on and off, right? And then we unlock our patcher, and we hook these up to our corresponding swatches. There's one. And there's two. Okay, so now we've got, um, oh, and I'm going to, uh, delete that patch cord which seems to be bothering the background color so much. Okay, so now you've got this thing flashing on and off here. Um, I think it works better with text color myself. So, whoops, gotta have your patcher lock to do that. Um, font text color, there it is. And text color, because they have to both be the same. And you might say, well, what about my background color? And I could say, look up at the top of this patcher over here. We could connect this one to it or, and change it to background color. Or um, we could be, whoops, unlock your patcher here. And uh, let's uh, group these together and put everything that we've just learned into one fantastic lump, right? So get this out of the way. You know, it's silly to, um, to have two swatches each running a separate attribute here. So what I'm going to do is take this cord, and I didn't mean to do that, grab it by that red triangle, uh, diamond, and attach it over there. Now, whatever they do, they're going to do one and then the other. Uh, lock it down and change that to uh, text color. 
And then um, we'll just get rid of this one for now. Or we don't have to uh, have, what's the fastest way to do it? Well, let's just get rid of it. You'll see what I'm thinking here. Um, we can also um, take these and duplicate them. Uh, I selected them all, and now I'm going to option click on them. And um, connect this back up here. And use what we've learned about delay to change something else about this thing. Let's just say, so I'm going to put a delay object over here. New, D E L A Y, and uh, we'll make it uh, 500 again. Put one on this one. And option click. There's one on this one. And we'll just use these to activate those. So I'm connecting one of those bangs to this delay, and one to this other delay. And I'm going to come down here, I'm going to lock my patcher, and change it to background color. So now, um, whatever we're doing, I'm going to just grab purple and red so you can see them clearly. And then right after, um, right now there's a delay of 500, so I'm going to change this and uh, slow it down again to, let's say, 13, there we go. Um, so now you see the text resets in color and then one half second later the background resets a new color. Okay, so we have really um, changed this in a, in a number of ways and I know that you could even think of more crazy, more fancy, more weird things to do. And I'm just going to say that also, if you wanted to uh, circumvent this whole thing, of course you could have it then uh, select a number and go to the presets up here or some other craziness. But I'm going to leave that up to you and your fancy patching dreams. Good luck with the homework, patch well, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.